I love this segment. Steve Ballmer, you know the name. He made headlines when he bought the Los Angeles Clippers for $2 billion, the highest ever paid for an NBA franchise. But now a report from the Financial Times says he may get about half of that. One billion back in tax benefits over the next 15 years. <laughs> We're here to tell us more about the tax break is Mike Bako, sports editor at thedailynational.com. Of course, it's always good to see you. Thank and you. I, and I love that suit. Thank you. About a billion dollar suit there. Oh. Now, come on. One billion in tax incentives over 15 years? Absolutely. Does this surprise you? The rich getting richer, the rich finding tax loopholes, the rich repurposing uh, tax laws and loopholes that were intended to be for media conglomerates and media companies. So when you're talking about NBA teams and guys who know how to work the system and with over a billion dollars involved, they're going to find ways to write it off. Well, you just said it like that. This is a song that reminds me back in the 70s. Over like a fat rat. <laughs> I mean, come on, Mike. I mean, look, uh, aren't there any kind of a rule or regulations and you know, put constraints on this kind of stuff. Obviously, he knew what he was doing because when most people mm -hmm. saw this, he was willing to spend this kind of money. And we, are, we have to underscore this. He's like worth about $22 billion. $22 billion, yeah. But Pocket still, change. but still, $2 billion. And people are saying, hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we're looking at it and saying, hey, we S understand. Smart move, but it's a smart move to buy any professional sports team. Ballmer's not buying this for the money that he's going to make this year, next year, over the next 10 years, even with the new NBA uh, TV deal where every team, before they even open up the season, is going to be making $90 million into their coffers. He's looking at this for down the road. Donald Sterling bought the San Diego Clippers at the time for $22, $25 million. George Steinbrenner bought the Yankees for $25 million. Unbelievable. And now these teams are worth billions of of dollars. So this is the long play by Steve Ballmer. Plus, he's a basketball fan. He's got $22 billion. This is, this is going to be his hobby now, now that he's retired from Microsoft. Okay, so we see this tax incentive. We also see uh, a new TV deal coming mm -hmm. down the road. The question is, is it going to make the owners richer? What about the players? Players want their cut of that money, too. Guys like LeBron James and Kevin Durant, big, big name stars, Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans. This might be a bit of an impasse with the league in terms of how high they're going to raise the salary cap. New collective bargaining agreement can be opened up by either side after this coming season. So I think players are going to be looking for higher guaranteed contracts, longer term contracts, something that the owners are not going to want to do. Okay, so I'm going to liken this to the, to the real estate industry. You have a house that goes for $1.5 in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. okay? And that's raised up, say, 20 to 25%. Automatically, that increases the value of another house. Mm -hmm. Will this increase the value of other NBA teams? You would only think that it would. You look at the recent sales of the uh, Philadelphia 76ers just a couple years ago for less than $400 million. Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. If you think about what a team like the Knicks or the Los Angeles Lakers or the Chicago Bulls would be worth in major metropolitan high TV ranking markets, astronomically, you're probably looking at $2, 3000000000 billion for those specific teams. So, of course, it's going to raise up other teams like the Atlanta Hawks. Their owner got into a bit of an issue over the mm -hmm. summer with some racial comments. That team is going out on the block, be, uh, sale being uh, garnered by uh, Goldman Sachs. That team will probably get double what they thought that it would have gotten just a few months ago. We've got to end on the king. LeBron James, mm -hmm. okay? The fans are crying and crying <laughs> that he left. Now he's back, and they're yelling and screaming, and, mm -hmm. you, know, they're, you know, they're up thinking they're going to... But the ticket prices, my friend. Up, up, Mike, up, 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 up. I bet you people aren't so happy right now. What are we talking about? We're, we're talking about multiple hundreds of dollars for regular season games for every game on the secondary market. A, a face value ticket of $80 now going for upwards of two, dollars $300 tops in the league now. Last year, they were in the bottom fifth of the league in terms of resale on the open market. So that's the, that's the draw of LeBron James. Well, as I always say, if it ain't about the money, it's about the money. Exactly. Mike Baco, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, nice suit.